Before we even started on this episode, we had heard that they, somebody was preparing to do a Batman musical. We just, you know, just thought it was just amusing. And uh, so we started riffing on it and said, oh yeah, we should do, we should do a Batman musical. Mm -hmm. And of course we never did anything with it. And then I think you had already come up with the plot for Out of the Past and we were talking yeah. about it in Alan's office and, and we were, somehow the, 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 the idea of starting it with Batman the musical came up. Yeah, we, we were thinking about, um, it's Bruce's birthday and he's feeling his age and Terry does something for Bruce that he thinks is kind of cool mm -hmm. and takes him for a night on the town. And so he, you know, spends some money and gets some tickets to see this, this, the Legend of Batman show. <laughs> and, uh, and Bruce is just sitting there in abject disgust, and Terry's going like, hey, isn't yeah. it shway? Yeah. Schwarbage, yeah. schwarbage. No, it was, that, was, that was really fun. That was, um, it was a lot of fun. Of course, Paul do. wrote all the lyrics, the, you know, superstitious, cowardly lot. <laughs> Plan and plot, and they always get caught. <laughs> a superstitious, cowardly lot. They plan and plot, but they always get caught. Their evil schemes all come to naught. A superstitious, cowardly lot. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it took me about three minutes. And you know, the thing was too, is we knew that uh, Kevin had a, a, a beautiful singing voice as yes. well. So it's like, okay, well, he's got to sing. You know, we got to have Kevin sing his own part. We and, got uh, really we actually good had guest stars. The guest stars sing. were amazing. I mean, his backup chorus is Adrian yeah. Barbeau, Barbeau, Charlie Kimbrough, Beth uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was yeah. it was wow. amazing. So yeah, it was uh, it was really really fun. And that's but, all they did was sing those parts. They didn't even do other. No, yeah, in the Adrian show. doesn't actually speak in the show. She just she's just singing backup. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. Yes, I sang two lines in that show as well. And Did I you remember, oh, remember right, you guys yeah. saying like, oh yeah, and you've got to sing some stuff? I was like, guys, I can't sing. Oh no, 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 no that's perfect. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, you're not supposed to be able to sing. It's like, oh, thank yeah. God, because yeah. right. I words. can't. I loved looking at all the costume designs for all the. Oh yeah, I did all the costume designs. Everything's yeah, I got a lot of. There's a lot of fur. I know. Everyone's like, even Commissioner Gordon's got that big fur collar. Yeah, Catwoman looks like she's out of cat. Yeah, totally, totally. Bruce! I heard him tell you. Where's Raish? I did not want you to find out this way. But I suppose what is done is done. Detective. No, see, now this is something that, that James and I can't quite remember is who came up with the idea of having Raish and Talia's body? Because me. Uh, yeah, you did? Yeah. Be, okay. Because yeah. Yeah. I remember telling you about it, I think, in the car once we were going out to lunch or something. Right. But yeah, I, I, okay. So that was like that was always part of the initial idea. Yeah, it's just a weird idea, you know. Like Talia's it's still genius. around. genius. I mean, it's my favorite. It's... it's my favorite surprise twist in, in any of the episodes we've ever done. I mean, you totally don't see it coming. Now we cut it, but you actually had came up with a, a rationale or some sort of scientific. Remember, there was a line yeah. that said, "I had my vocal cords grafted." Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah, a yeah, long yeah. explanation, yeah. and it was just like, "Nah, forget yeah. it." Yeah, no, they no. don't need to know. Yeah, you how. can't rationalize. I think it. that yeah. was a bit of Alan's logic. Like, how does he speak the same way? And yeah. it's right. Like, oh, I, I don't know. He just trained his voice. Like he's talking high. You know. Yeah. I don't know. No, you know, it's it's just it's it's you know you don't even have to rationalize. Right. It's just right. it's just too cool. You'll just accept it, even though it's crazy. And then I remember James, you boarded like all that stuff at the end where Talia's fighting oh, Terry right, yeah. and, and and Bruce. Yeah, that was and um, <laughs> was that just on your own idea, or was that somebody else who gave you that idea to, to make all of her movements really, really girly? Because I think that's really cool. That it's like he's talking in David in David oh, Warner's yeah. voice, but he's, yeah. he's tossing yeah. his hair and he's <laughs> wagging his hips and stuff when he's moving, and he's well, very, he's, very girly. He's a perfectionist. So. Oh, okay, that was wonderful. I mean, it doesn't make any logical sense. Yeah. You know, you think at that point he would start walking like a man, but you're creeping me out. You, she kissed me. There's all kinds of cool stuff in that show. Yeah. Um, I, I love seeing Bruce and Terry teaming up to, yeah, to, right. to you know, yeah. actually go into battle together at the same time. And, and hearing the Batman theme in there. All rocked up. Yeah, yeah no, that's, that's, a, that's a great moment. That's yeah. really, really cool. I remember from an acting standpoint for this episode, this was the only episode where uh, Kevin and I worked together where for at least a part of the episode, he didn't have the gravelly voice. He was oh, that's right. A, yeah. younger Bruce. a regular Bruce, yeah. Bruce Wayne. Wow. I always wondered what you were like at your peak. Now I have some idea. Not quite at my peak, but certainly better than I've been capable of in years. It was like I got to just kind of sit there and, and watch what he had done for years on the original Batman series. It was really cool.